hello and welcome. Um, so this video is not going to be like a, a, a normal mixing video. Uh, this is just going to be kind of like a um, update recommendation, like, like a gear review, but like a, um, I, don't, I don't even know. Anyways, um, so I, I've been wanting to get more tactile with my uh, mixing processing lately. And rather than go out and buy a whole bunch of analog gear, which I can't afford and uh, just takes up space and sometimes I won't use it because it's kind of a hassle, um, I got a control surface and I found uh, this little Korg Nano Control 2. Um, I think new, they go like 70 or 80 bucks, which is pretty inexpensive, pretty affordable. Um, I found mine used for $25 ish uh, because the guy thought it was broken. So yeah, uh, it's inexpensive and it is <laughs> it is a little bit broken, but that's besides the point. Uh, for the most part, like 95% of the time, it works just fine. Um, like one of the sliders is just kind of eh, finicky. Um, and I've been the last day or two or so I've been toying with setting this thing up with different parameters. So I started with, uh, some of my brainworks plugins that I commonly use my brainworks channel. Um, and I've got a whole bunch of different maps right now. Um, initially I started using this just pick MIDI map for mode editing and I would turn a knob on here and hit apply mapping and it would be done. And I mapped out the whole thing. I did that with every single knob, every single button that I wanted to activate. So now, what was that? So now whenever I turn my dials, I have full tactile control over my channel. And I have it set up um, so that every channel that this is on, like as long as it is set to um, insert three on any of these channels, I can open up this plugin and have control over it. It's super easy. I'll, let, me, let me show you the plugin manual. So you have to basically select all of the channels that you've, or all the parameters that you've adjusted, select focus to select the track, and then that's it. Um, some of the buttons and dials are like basically all of the dials and sliders. You can see I have, close you. This is the, the, the layout of the board. You can see I have eight sliders, eight dials, and then 24 buttons. Um, <clears throat> I set all of the dials and all of the sliders to be uh, what's called there you go, scaled. So basically it, it, the dials defaulted to jump and that was just kind of not good. Like as soon as I touched a, a knob, the, uh, the top end EQ would like jump up six dB or whatever. Um, and this makes it much more gradual and, um, you know, you just have to, to, to tweak it a little bit so that they, uh, so that the dial catches up with the software, the software catches up with the dial, um, and then it's perfect. And you can see like with the, you can't see me pointing at the screen, uh, but you can see how it's, uh, the red over here, right? That's just the time it takes for it to catch up. So it works. It's great. Um, it's fine. The problem is that means I have to keep this console on insert three on every channel, which isn't a big deal, but I would like to, you know, be able to throw it elsewhere. So I started looking for some other pl plugins. And, um, or some other ways do, uh, of making this happen. And one of the things that I actually saw was this remote control editor. Unfortunately, this remote control editor will not actually edit with the Brainworks plugins that I've got, which is irritating. Uh, but my SSL channels and my Waves plugins, sorry, my all of my Waves SSL channels and my Waves plugins can use this remote control editor. So I'm going to show you how I set this thing up uh, so you can use it and and it'll ultimately work with all of your plugins. So I uh, have what this preset called 24 parameter mapping. And here's exactly what I did. I go over to selected track. I go over to inserts. I go over to inserts viewer and parameters. And I simply set hit setup, created 24 new parameters. And on each one of these, I'd hit parameter one. And then I would move this dial 
and then I double click parameter one to get to do it. Let me, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and start a new one so you can see it. Um, let's see, Set the track inserts parameters, and I'm going to do 16 on this one. So parameter one, you can see the dial moving over here. Double click parameter two, double click parameter three, double click four, five. Oh, did I skip one somewhere? Yep, I did. Stupid me. That was parameter four that I skipped. And then if I go to nine, I can either use my sliders or I'm going to go ahead and hit my button. Right, so on and so forth. So now, when I go in to map my stuff, let's go back to this one real quick. Um, my remote control editor says, okay, this is parameters one through eight. This is parameters nine through 16. This is parameters 17 through 24. And then I just selected over here. That's my gonna, gonna be my high frequency gain off my plugin, my SSL. So now whenever I turn this one up, that's my high frequency gain. And then my high frequency, actual frequency. And then my high mid gain, my high mid frequency. And then right down below it, this is my slider. And that controls my um, input level on this dial right here. And then the next one is my high mid Q and then my low mid Q, so on and so forth. And I did that for all of these buttons or for, for everything. And then I've got a phase reverse button. You can see going off down here and then I've got a bypass for my entire plugin. And then I've got fast attack, fast release or fast attack. And then I've got my channel out. I don't really use any of these other buttons. So I didn't care to um, add them in here but I could if I wanted to. Um, so now, anytime I open up a plugin, it doesn't matter what the plugin is. If I open up this plugin, I can start turning things. And it should make some adjustments happening. Right? Oh, does this thing not have any remote controls? That should control my threshold. Oh, it's broken. It's broken. That's not good. That should be pulling my threshold. Let's let's try a different plugin. Try my Wave Swing 500. There we go. So I've gone through and I've adjusted this one before. Um, but I need to redo it because I didn't have these buttons set. Uh, but yeah, so now anytime I open up a plugin, whatever is focused will open up and these 24 plugins or 24 uh, parameters, first 24 parameters, will you know be able to control whatever's on this screen. So let's go to... All right, I came out, multimedia, black 1176, there we go. Still doing stuff. Oh, I'm actually here. I alter that. My attack, my release. It's this one. Bypass. Cool. So it can control everything, and I don't actually need to set up my remote control. Like, I just have all of this. And those are the only things that I can control. Um, yeah, I do recommend that you take the time and go through and like map everything out because the, um, let's, uh, let's open up something that I have not tweaked around. I haven't, I haven't messed with the, the SSLG channel yet. All right. So that's my focus. Focus. Whenever I just start tweaking things, it's just going to run through presets right there on that dial bypass. Like it does this quick remote here is the default. 
and it does not make sense at all for how I wanted to set everything up. So I had to go man manually go through and uh, set all that up. <clears throat> but that means that any plugin, like I can put this SSL channel strip anywhere in the plugin list, and as soon as I open it up, it's good to go. And I wish to hell Brainworks would do that too on this. But as it is, um, you know, being able to go to my channel three, pull up my console, and still dial it in, like it's it's not the end of the world. So, anyways, that's how I've been getting more tactile with my mixing. Uh, and tweaking and playing and mixing with my ears instead of my eyes uh, and getting rid of the mouse. So I just wanted to share that. I thought it might be useful to you in setting up your own little control surfaces. Again, check this thing out. It's pretty useful, I think, in my opinion. And you can get it for pretty cheap. Uh, so, yeah, until we meet again, I've been Alex. This has been mixing with me. I don't, I don't know. Take care, everybody.